Welcome back. In the last video, uh, we solved this problem, and I missed out to show you how to check your answer. So the two answers that we got was uh, x is 7 or x is negative uh, uh, 13 point whatever, 13 two thirds. Okay. Now, so here, what is the answer? The question was, you had to write the two numbers. So the two numbers, uh, then find the two numbers. So if one we got one number, so we are ignoring this negative because it's an integer. Uh, okay. So if suppose if we take x is seven, we if one number is seven, that is our first number is x. So the other number it was two x plus five. Okay. So 2x plus 5, so what did we see if you remember? I told you to multiply the number, so that is, the, your x is 7, so that is 2 times 7 plus 5, okay? So 2 times 7 is 14, uh, plus 5 is 19. So let us check our answer. How does it work? Okay, so... So one number is 7, and the other number is 19, okay? So, so what, how will you check our answer, whether our answer is right? So what, what, did, what did they say? Okay, what does the question say? The difference of squares is 3, 1, 2, okay? When you take the difference, they're telling the difference of the squares should give you 3, 1, 2. So does it work here? So this is how I can check. So 19 squared minus 7 squared. Okay, you can get your calculators out. So 19 squared, if you do on a calculator, 19 squared gives you 361 minus 49. Okay, and that is 312. I'll show this also on a graphic calculator. 3, 1, 2. So 19 squared minus 7 squared. Remember that. So, so option 1. So nine, 19 squared minus 7 squared. Okay. That will give me, that should give me 3, 1, 2. And there we go. The answer is 3, 1, 2. So this is how you can confirm that these are the two answers. So you don't need to worry about the second option because it's negative. Okay, and this is enough for you to get excellence. Uh, keep working for your exams. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.